Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a laminated piece of wood having only an untiled texture. So let's get started. I'm working with the Blender version 3.5.0 and to make this uh, simple piece of wood we are going to create with the Shift A a mesh a simple cube. Uh, that is our table for example. Press N to see the information of the item and we can set uh, 2 meter by one meter by two centimeter for example now first of all uv map it's important to project the correct uv map of your object before shading and to do this we can enter in edit mode with the tab press 3 to enter in the face selection press a right button uv unwrap faces and we can use in this case with a table a cube projection so now in the uv editing you can see the correct projection of our faces and now we need a material so press tab to exit from the edit mode go in the material attributes create a new material wood go in the shading editor and now we have this white piece now we can drag and drop here the image of our wood okay drag and drop done this is our image so if i press shift ctrl and click this is our non-tiled texture of a uh, wood now we need to rotate this piece of wood to follow the direction of our piece and to do this it's very simple we can easily enter in the edit mode with the tab go to uv editor select the, the top face for example press a with the focus here in the uv editor press r to rotate of 90 degrees and we can scale it a bit in this axis and press S to scale X to the other part if you want to scale along the boundary box of this image you can easily go here in the UV constraint to image bounds press S Y go at the limit of the bounding box press S and X and do the same for the X axis tab to exit go to shading and this is the result now we don't want this effect we want to make a laminate effect so we need the coordinate system so we can select this image and press ctrl t it's a shortcut to create in automatic way the text coordinate node and the mapping node in the middle and this is the link the important link you need the uv map Okay. In the case when you need to adjust the length or the width of this table, maintaining the dimension and the size of this texture, you normally do this operation. Press tab, 3, select this face, G, X and move on the X axis and you can see the texture is stretching and we don't want this right button to cancel this to leave the size as is you need to go here in the options and check this correct face attribute and now if I move the face you can see I can move the face where I want now in this case I notice that the maybe the texture is tiled in one direction maybe but we don't care because we want to create a laminate effect so we don't care if the texture is or not tiled texture press tab to exit from the edit mode and here we are we have the color and the idea is offset in the x direction and the y direction the position of sub pieces of our wood in this moment we have the original uv map so the factor that goes from 0 to 1 for example or 0 to 1 and from 0 to 1 to the other part of this single face and this is mapped to read the map of the image that we dragged on our workflow we want to distort this mapping so to do this we can easily separate this uv map so you can see the x factor from 0 to 1 so the factor x starts from 0 here and goes in this direction shift ctrl and click to see the y direction for the z we have a black because we have no thickness of this face it's obvious so return to the x value and if i want a 
not a linear offsetting of the location of this mapping node, but I want a random step of offsetting, of shifting on this mapping node, we can easily use this x on a snap mathematical function, shift, control and click, and you can see the snapping uh, is with an increment of 0.5. If I decrease these, I have a stepped values, okay, a constant stepped values. Now, I can't use these stepped values from 0 to 1 to use as an offset here because it's however a linear step values so from this value i can use a white noise texture to get for each constant stepped value a new random value from 0 to 1 this is more realistic now we can use this output in a combine xyz where we want to offset the x position for example and we can link this to the location of the map node now we can link this color in the base color of the principal bsdf shift control and click and this is the result i don't know if you can see but there is here the stepped offset along the x-axis and this is the first part the second part is the same idea but to the other direction so to do this we can use a similar approach so we have the y vector and before snapping it because if i snap it immediately we have this step i don't want this step in the same pattern because i will have um, a perfect grid of offset if i show you here these i duplicate for a moment this y noise and use the same technique to see the random value from 0 to 1 and link this to the y offset okay the y component of this uh, shifting effect for the location if i select this final part you can see this aligned offset on the y axis and it's not a realistic table so to make a more realistic effect we need few passes in the middle so before the snapping and the y noise we can move these a little bit and we can use for example this white noise value on the x axis in an adding mathematical operation so we can add from the original linear y factor so this factor we can add a stepped value a random value so you can see this linear different gradient from 0 to 1 and not only from 0 to 1 but from numbers to numbers because i added a random value for each stepped part of the y axis now that i have this different gradient i can use this result in the snap and you can see the different approach of the snapping tool i can increase this a little bit for example in this way it's uh, obvious i have values uh, that can be from zero because uh, these are positive numbers and these are also positive numbers so this is positive number and the snap to give me positive numbers from 0 to n value and now with this output i can get a random value from 0 to 1 getting this piece of pattern and now that i have this output in this component of combine xyz i can show you the principal bsdf effect and now i can see a different pattern of my image it's not finished we want to use the same image for the roughness and for the bumping of our wood so to do this i suggest you to duplicate the image because in this case for the color we need the color space srgb and make this image as the other as a repeated texture so make sure to have a repeated selection here and in this case for the roughness we need a texture that is not in a color space of srgb because the output of the color can be manipulated from this node itself so to make a correct mathematical relationship from the image and the output of this color you need to select here 
non-color but if you select the non-color in a duplicated image node you also change the original node of the image so you have to reset the srgb and click here to make an isolated new node of the same image so if i click here i can select a non-color for this node and leave srgb for this image node and now i can use this for the roughness or bumping it's obvious i need the same vector map of the uv to read this image and for example we can use it for the roughness so i can link this color in a color ramp link this to the roughness attribute of my principal bsdf and change some values so i can increase a little bit i want to have uh, in the wrinkles so in the black part of the wood more opaque effect so no light if i press shift ctrl and click uh, you can see this uh, color of the texture and here in the dark part we want more opaque so the color ramp starts from the darkest part to the lightest part and for this i can leave a high number and for the rest i can change the value down so we can easily see the difference we can set 0.286 and 0.114 we can move a little bit these perfect now we want the bumping for the bumping f3 bump we can link the same output of this non-color image it's important in the height and change the strength of this bump linking this to the normal and this is the effect we can decrease this a little bit 0.03 go here in the render properties film check transparent for the rendering view and in the color management select standard to see a more original values of the color go to the global world properties change the color with an environment texture select open choose your hdr file make sure you have the render engine that you need in this case i can use ev for example press the button to see the result and this is the final result of my wood okay with a laminate effect it's easy and simple to do and you can tweak with the two values the snapping here and the snapping of the y so the snapping of, of the x-axis if you want more or less uh, pieces of wood if you have a parquet or a table and do the same thing with the snapping of the y axis uh, to create a, a little piece of wood another way to rotate the pattern is to add a mapping node here in between and rotate on the z axis uh, the vector by 90 degrees uh, for example to have the effect uh, on the other part now you can see we have a little problem with these uh, faces uh, and we want to have the same alignment with this uh, part of the texture so to do this uh, we need to manipulate the uv map of these uh, faces so go to uv editing press tab to enter in the edit mode select the face select here the image of our wood to see the direction of the x and y we can easily debug it changing the scale of the y for example and we don't see any difference so we can use the scale of the x and you can see the difference here but you can see we don't want to follow this line because we have a rotated direction of the panel you can see this direction of the veins and these are the direction of the veins but the direction of the face is in the opposite side so we need to deselect for a moment the constraint to image bound to make the rotation possible of 90 degrees now i don't need to scale on the x-axis because this part of the table is the entire length of this table and i only rotated this distance from from here to here to from here to here so we don't need to scale in the x and in this case we can have a similar effect of the laminated wood same to the other part select these as 
X to scale it down. We could select both of these faces and make the same operation one time. Rotate 90 degrees, enter. Press tab to exit from the edit mode and this is the result. The same effect here, tab to enter in the edit mode, select this face, select this face. A to select both of the faces in the UV editor. S, Y to see the result in the stretching and we can see the wrong direction of the veins. You can see the vein goes in this direction, it's wrong because we want this direction. So for this I undo for a moment, R to rotate of 90 degrees, press S, scale it down a little bit, scale on the X axis to simulate the realistic height of this piece of wood, press tab, and a last part that we can add on our texture is this. You can see the color of each piece of wood is the same, but we can change it how we can go here in the shading editor and use the same value of this output node, so this white noise, in a color ramp for example and multiply this result with this original color to have a more darker color of the pieces. So to do this we can link this in a mix RGB, link this color here and use this scroll factor to increase or decrease the effect. So if I stay to the zero and link these to the base color, shift control and click to the principal BSDF, nothing changed. But if I increase the factor, this is the effect we don't want to mix. We need to multiply the original value with the darker part of this color ramp and if I multiply a little bit these you can see this difference we can manipulate another time the snapping tool here now it's more realistic and then we can add another for example hue saturation and value effect change the color so link the color in the color attribute it's obvious and we can use the saturation or the value to have a darker or lighter wood effect and this is the result and this was the tutorial thank you guys for watching this uh, simple tutorial if you like it please check a like or comment it you can download this project from my gumroad page if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to my channel and see you to the next tutorial bye